Hello everyone, I'm Magna. Hi, I'm Jack. And welcome back to Hardware and, and Coffee. Coffee. Yes, in this video series, we're going to talk all about hardware development process. And in the second video, which is this video, we're going to talk about PCB design and manufacturing. We talked about schematic and the PCB layout design in the last video. So we will start with the PCB fabrication. So step number one, PCB fabrication. After finishing the PCB layout design, you have generated a GURPL file that allocate the actual components to the exact location on the PCB and show the traces to connect each component together in different layers. So now you will need to provide a GURPL file to the manufacturers along with the specification, such as number of layers, two layers, four layers, and also the material, FR2, FR4, thickness, the standard thickness of the PCB will be 0.5 millimeter, and uh, the color, green, red, or the black, I'm the one just like the one I'm holding, and also the uh, surface finish, and the last one will be a copper weight, and copper weight could be one ounce, two ounce. It really depends on the size of the PCB. The actual PCBA fabrication process is handled by your PCBA manufacturers, so you don't really need to know everything about a PCBA process. But just remember, the more layers your PCB has, more complicated technology you will need to manufacture. So you need to choose your manufacturers carefully. Step number two, material preparation. By this time, you should already have your components selected. You can ask your PCB manufacturer to buy the components for you or can do it by yourself. Just note, if you're used to prototyping and buying components by yourself, in this case, you should buy the components in packages that are suitable for SMT machines. So they have to be in reels for SMT machine automatic pickup. We're going to cover more about um, SMT machines in our next step. Uh, just note that before you get any components, you should actually ask your manufacturer about any specifications or requirements that they have. When you're ordering the components online, you need to check minimum order quantity. So if the amount that you're ordering is less than minimum, you actually have to check if your component is still in stock. Also remember that you need to get around 10% more of the components that uh, you're purchasing mm -hmm. to account for the uh, components that's going to be lost during the SMT process. Also, keep in mind that these components come from different vendors, so you have to think about the lead time. Usual lead time is between 8 to 16 weeks, and uh, like in small quantities, up to 50 um, items, you can actually purchase your components from online, like DigiKey or Mauser. Uh, if you have much bigger quantities, then you better uh, consult with your manufacturers for their recommendations. Mm -hmm. And actually, for component sourcing, we have a program by CC Port. It's called Program Faraday. And we actually covered it in the last video. You can check it out. It helps you the uh, component sourcing. OK. Step number three, SMT, service mount technology and through hole technology. There are two main methods of placing components on the PCB surface, SMT and through hole. Through hole is a hands-on method of fitting components with wire leads into holes of the PCB surface. SMT method is more widely used as it is done by very fast, very precise SMT machines that can save you time, money, and reduce human error. However, some bigger components cannot be mounted by the uh, machines, still need the manual through hole work. So both of the technology can be used on the same board. Yes, and actually SMT process is done by really cool looking big machines. And uh, we have a video and we have a link to the video uh, below so you can see it as well. Another thing to note here is the number of component types on your PCB. Because every PCBA manufacturer, their SMT machines can support a certain amount of reels. So if your uh, component type number is higher than that, you will need to find another manufacturer or you will need to get your board through SMT machine twice. So for example, if uh, SMT machine can support only 20 reels and your PCB has uh, 23 types of components, then 
uh, you will need to get it through the machine twice, which will increase your manufacturing cost and time. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that you need to ask your manufacturer, and in the end you need to optimize and consolidate your components so you will only need one SMT run. Other things you will need to check with the manufacturer is the footprint pad size that they support. Otherwise, the SNT machines will not be able to mount the components correctly. Mm -hmm. Check these uh, be things beforehand and uh, optimize your design accordingly. Okay, step number four, reflow. It's time to solder your components to the PCB board. Um, in most cases, the manufacturers will use reflow oven for this process. Mm -hmm. In this case, your uh, PCB board is heated in the oven and solder, the thing that makes components stick to the board, melts. Uh, the tricky part here is actually not overheating or damaging the components because different packages have different thermal profiles. In this case, a reliable PCB manufacturer will take care of this process. All mm -hmm. you need to do is provide a data sheet of your components to them. There are also other methods of soldering, like wave soldering with an automatic machine. This method is usually used for components that you added manually with a through-hole method that we discussed. So in this case, your PCBA would first go through reflow oven, and then you add other components, and then it would go through a wave soldering machine. And uh, of course, there's a uh, good yeah. old iron <laughs> soldering method. Um, it can be used in specific cases, but not usually in mass manufacturing. Step number five, testing and Q&A. In this step, PCBAs will be tested to ensure the quality. Common mistakes are, first one, missing components. Second one, misaligned components. Third one, shorts and opens. Fourth one, too much or too little starter and other quality defects. Most common tests are, First one, ICT, insecure test. When you design a PCB, you often will reserve some test points for programming, for debugging, or for other purpose. The ICT machines will use those test points to do an open short test, and also to check the value of the passive components, such as resistors, capacitors, inductors, to see if they are within the spe specifications. The second most common test is called AOI, or Automatic Optical Inspection. In this case, the, the manufacturers they use what's called a golden sample PCBA. So the AOI machine, it will compare the manufactured PCBAs to the golden sample to see and catch any defects. Third, the X-ray test. The PCBA manufacturers will use X-ray machines to check the soldering condition of BGA components that cannot be seen in the optical test. Of course, there's a lot more that goes on in PCBA design and manufacturing that we can cover in this short video. Um, the most important part is actually finding a reliable partner who can help you throughout the process. And that's why uh, we at Harvatrek, we partnered with some famous PCBA manufacturers to bring you these special offers, special programs. First is King Brother. They are a Shenzhen-based uh, PCB manufacturer for almost 20 years. They provide PCBs for drones, medical, and many other industries. Uh, they actually accept offers as small as one PCB, and they can do very complex PCBs up to 30 layers. The second one is Next PCB Program Pathfinder. We have uh, turnkey PCB solutions that, that are really good if you have limited knowledge about PCB design and just want it to work. They offer a 10% discount for their PCB layout design and turnkey solutions for hardware creators. And the third one is HQPCB Program Flash. It is especially good if you are in a hurry and you want to confirm the basic functions and design in a very short time frame. Uh, they can actually get your PCBs manufactured in three to four days or in special cases even in 24 hours. Also, they accept uh, orders as small as one PCB. You will find more about these programs and how to apply to learn in the links below and in the presentation you can download. If you have any questions, 
please feel free to email us or ping us on the social media. Yes, uh, you will also find a link to our blog post about PCB design and manufacturing, uh, where you will find the list of other resources to find more about this topic. We highly recommend checking out the uh, E video blog three-part series about DFM for PCB manufacturing. It actually takes almost two and a half hours, but it's well worth watching. Okay, that's all for the, this hardware and coffee video. Thank you for listening, and see you next time. Bye! Bye.